It's hoped artificial intelligence will lead to breakthrough drug discoveries at an Australian first research facility. The program will target proteins linked to different cancers to fast-track trials of new and improved treatments. Holly Edwards-Smith was given an exclusive look inside. Looking at how the building blocks of life can prolong ours. This world-class facility at the Bio21 Institute in Melbourne will put different proteins under the microscope. The aim is to transform basic cancer discoveries into new treatments. Most people think about cancer and think, oh, we've got to save lives. Yes, that's incredibly important. But just as important is finding new treatments, new approaches, new drugs. Um, and, and that's very much what this program is doing. A $2 million donation from the Australian Cancer Research Foundation will bankroll breakthrough technologies, including artificial intelligence. AI in diagnosis of cancer, AI in predicting structures, AI in predicting drugs, that are, well, compounds that can be turned into drugs. Uh, so it'll be huge, huge change. Researchers will also collaborate with clinicians around the country to find ways to make existing treatments more effective. Woeful disease, really, because it, it can work for a while. It can react to standard, um, standard of care chemotherapy and then stop working or start resisting the treatment. Including triple negative breast cancer. And what this protein does is it um, makes the breast cancer resistant eventually to the drug treatment. So we want to turn this protein off. This research can also be used to reduce debilitating side effects for cancer patients. So it involves traditional chemotherapy which causes dreadful side effects like um, hair falling out, uh, huge fatigue, uh, nausea, all those sorts of things. So we want to get away from those. Before AI can be used to its full potential in drug discovery, the technology needs to be developed further. Professor Michael Parker believes it shows extreme promise and could be used to improve almost every facet of cancer research. It's a change that could save lives, time and billions of dollars. The next thing is, is for the AI programs to predict or sell us what modifications would you make to a molecule to make it drug-like. Um, and actually predict all the pharmacology, so you don't have to test your molecules and animals anymore. Uh, and hopefully one day phase one clinical trials wouldn't be necessary. Shaving years off the approval process to give cancer patients a fighting chance. We focus on getting this vital technology into the hands of the scientists because that's the way that we're going to find better ways to prevent, detect and treat cancers. Holly Edward-Smith for Sky News.